There was a wolf at the gallery door, which meant it must be Thursday, which meant Bryce had to be really God's damned tired if she relied on Danica's comings and goings to figure out what day it was. The heavy metal door to Griffin Antiquities thudded with the impact of the wolf's fist, a fist that Bryce knew ended in metallic purple painted nails in dire need of a manicure. A heartbeat later, a female voice barked, half muffled through the steel. Open the hell up, B. It's hot as shit out here. Seated at the desk in the modest gallery showroom, Bryce smirked and pulled up the front door's video feed. Tucking a strand of her wine red hair behind a pointed ear, she asked into the intercom, Why are you covered in dirt? You look like you've been rootling through the garbage. What the fuck does rootling mean? Danica hopped from foot to foot, sweat gleaming on her brow. She wiped at it with a filthy hand, smearing the black liquid splattered there. You'd know if you ever picked up a book, Danica. Glad for the break in what had been a morning of tedious research, Bryce smiled as she rose from the desk. With no exterior windows, the gallery's extensive surveillance equipment served as her only warning of who stood beyond its thick walls. Even with her sharp half fay hearing, she couldn't make out much beyond the iron door, save for the occasional banging fist. The building's unadorned sandstone walls belied the latest tech and grade A spellwork that kept it operational and preserved many of the books in the archives below. As if merely thinking about the level beneath Bryce's high heels had summoned her, a little voice asked from behind the six inch thick archives door to her left, is that Danica? Yes, Lahaba. Bryce wrapped her hand around the front door's handle. The enchantments on it hummed against her palm, slithering like smoke over her freckled golden skin. She gritted her teeth and withstood it, still unused to the sensation even after a year of working at the gallery. From the other side of the deceptively simple metal door to the archives, Lahaba warned, Jessica doesn't like her in here. You don't like her in here, Bryce amended, her amber eyes narrowing toward the archives door and the tiny fire sprite she knew was hovering just on the other side, eavesdropping as she always did whenever someone stood out front. Go back to work. Lahaba didn't answer, presumably drifting back downstairs to guard the books below. Rolling her eyes, Bryce yanked open the front door getting a face full of heat so dry it threatened to suck the life from her. And summer had only just begun. Danica didn't just look like she'd been rootling through the garbage. She smelled like it, too. Wisps of her silvery blonde hair, normally a straight silken sheet, curled from her tight long braid. The streaks of amethyst, sapphire, and rose splattered with some dark, oily substance that reeked of metal and ammonia. Took you long enough. Danica groused and swaggered into the gallery, the sword strapped at her back, bobbing with each step. Her braid had become tangled in its worn leather hilt. 